नमस्कार दोस्तों ये इसरो का साइंटिफिक असिस्टेंट फिजिक्स का पेपर है ये 2017 में हुआ था आई थिंक एक पोस्ट थी तक देख लेते हैं कि कैसा पैटर्न रहता है एग्जाम का सो दे विल बी एटी क्वेश्चन एंड थ्री ट्वेंटी मार्क्स के होंगे टू आवर्स का आपको टाइम मिलता है दे आर आल्सो नेगेटिव मार्किंग सो आइए देखते हैं कैसे कैसे क्वेश्चन आए ज़्यादा हार्ड क्वेश्चन नहीं आते फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वोल्टेज वन कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी नो दैट वोल्टेज वन कॉन्स्टेंट इज वन पॉइंट थ्री एट इंटू टेन टू दिवर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री जूल पर कैलविन सो वी कैन इजिली डू दैट सो दिस क्वेश्चन टेल एस दैट वी शुड रिमेंबर ऑल द नेसेसरी फंडामेंटल कॉन्स्टेंट्स फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो दे यूनिट्स द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज एट एन एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर टी द मेन काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ ए मोलिक्यूल इन थ्री डायमेंशन So the answer will be three by two kVT. The question number three is atmospheric pressure. He is asking he is asking the atmospheric pressure at the surface of the earth. So we know that one atm is equal to seven sixty torr. So basic question. Question number four is which property distinguishes bosons from the fermions? So it is the spin. For the fermions, it is spin half integers, and for bosons, it is integers. Identify the boson. So electron is a fermion, neutrino is a fermion, positron is a fermion, alpha particle. Alpha particle is nucleus of 2He4. That means nucleus of helium. So it is a boson. Which wavelength range represents the visible light? So it is option A, 400 to 700 nanometer. You can ask also in angstrom, then you will say 4000 to 7000 angstrom. The phenomena of bending of light wave around an obstacle is known as then it is diffraction. Next question is atomic mass unit is defined as so it is option D one twelfth of the mass of a carbon atom. The question number nine is the mass number of an element is so the mass number is the sum of protons number and the neutron number in the nucleus. Question number ten is a rocket moves because of the conservation of so the answer is A. It's momentum conservation, linear momentum conservation. We can say. Question number eleven is special theory of relativity deals with. So special theory of relativity always work in the inertial frame of reference. What is the inertial frame of reference? There may be also the question from this. So the frame in which Newton's first law is valid is called the inertial frame of reference. The question number twelve is its principle states that the behavior of a system described by the quantum mechanics. Reproduce classical physics in the limit of large quantum number. So it is the Bohr's correspondence principle. It says that if we increase the quantum numbers n, then we eventually get into the classical physics. So there are four more. The one is Pauli exclusive principle, which says that no two fermions can stay in same quantum state. Heisenberg uncertainty principle. He says that the uncertainty in position and the multiply by multiply by the uncertainty in the position in that direction at the same instant of time is always greater than or equal to h cross by two. The next is Bohr complementary principle. It states that a moving particle has both wave and particle nature. Question number thirteen is while describing the motion of a free electron in a crystal, when we neglect a collision with another free electron, it is called. So it is free electron approximation. So the answer is A. Question number fourteen is the wide domain French law connects. The answer is A. It connects the thermal conductivity and the electrical conductivity of the material. You can ask. Uh, you can ask mathematical form. Then you will say the thermal conductivity K upon Electrical conductivity sigma is equal to T times L. L is the Lorentz number, which is equals to pi square upon three K B upon K whole square. Next question is the effective mass of a bound electron in the crystal is. Since the electron is bound in the crystal, that means it cannot accelerate. If it cannot accelerate, that means acceleration is equal to zero. Then we can conclude from F equal to M A also. That mass is going to be infinite. The direction of pointing vector is. 
so the direction of pointing vector is along the direction of the propagation of electromagnetic wave so the answer is a the impedance offered to an electromagnetic wave in free space so it is 377 ohm it can also be equal to 120 pi next question is in an electromagnetic wave the electric and magnetic fields are they are always in same phase Next question is a liquid surface we have like a stretched membrane and tend to connect the smallest possible area. This property is known as so this property is surface tension. The next question is given the barometric equation that n is equal to n0 exponentially by minus z upon h and asking what is z? So z is scale height. So answer is A. The next question is what is the color code? For a 220 ohm resistor with 5% tolerance. So, I think you all know the resistors low. We all remember that BB Roy, Great Britain, very good wife. And the tolerance is 5% is for gold. So, we can calculate from there. 2 is for red, 2 is for again red, 0 is for black, and then gold. So, the answer is B. Which resistance, resistive component is temperature sensitive? So, very simple question. If we see it in the Hindi, the option C, Taap ya Pratiro. So, Taap is temperature and Pratiro. So, answer is simply given there, the thermistor. Thermistor is a temperature sensitive resistor. Question number, next question is, which rectifier requires four diodes? So, we know that bridge wave rectifier, bridge rectifier requires the four diodes. Then maybe next question that, what is the peak inverse voltage for the bridge rectifier? Maybe ask this question next time so it is e uh, what we say vm in half wave rectifier we require one diode and peak inverse voltage is also vm in full wave rectifier we require four two diode and the peak inverse voltage is double two times em next question is 24 in maxwell voltage one distribution the fraction of a gas molecule having energy between E and E plus T E is proportional to. So the answer is A. It is e to power 1 by 2 exponential of the power minus E upon KT. Next question is what happens to the Doppler broadening of a spectral line when the RMS speed of the atom in the light source increases. So the RMS, so the Doppler broadening is proportional to the RMS speed. And the RMS speed is proportional to the temperature. So when temperature increase, VRMS increase and the broadening also increase. So we say that spectral width increases. So option B is correct. The mean free path of a gas molecule depends on. So the mean free path depends on the number of molecules per unit volume and the collision cross sections also. The option is C. Which one is the correct equivalent between heat and work? So 1 calorie is equal to 4.2 joule. So we can conclude from there. Sometimes it is written 4.18 joule at the triple point. So the triple point at the triple point what happens is the all states of the matter that is solid, liquid, and gas coexist. Or maybe we can say equilibrium. Next question may be next time the triple point of water may be asked. So it is 273.15 Kelvin. If we place our hand near a lighted bulb, electric bulb, it feels warm because of. So it is due to the radiation and convection. Option is D. The third law of thermodynamics is all about. So the third law of electrodynamics would say as is the entropy of a perfect crystal at absolute zero temperature. The next question is when light passes through a glass slab. The property of light does changes. So we know that when light passes through any material, the frequency does not change. What changes is the wavelength and hence the velocity. Next question is the grating is used for. So the grating is used for the dif dispersion of different wavelength of a polychromatic light. Isotopes are elements with. So isotopes are the element with the same proton number. That means same atomic number. The next question is the antiparticle of an electron is known as so the antiparticle of electron is positron. So the option is B. 
extraction is which interaction is responsible for the radioactive decay so for the radioactive decay the weak interaction is responsible next question is what is the moment of inertia of a hollow sphere with radius 10 cm and mass 12 gram so we know that moment of inertia of a hollow sphere is 2 by 3 m r square so we can calculate this next is asking about solid sphere solid sphere so we know that for the solid sphere the moment of inertia is 2 by 5 m r square so we can simply calculate by putting these values next question is asking the if p and v represent the kinetic and the potential energy of a body respectively the hamiltonian is given by so it is the question of uh, i think msc it is the classical lagrangian questions and its answer will be hamiltonian is equal to t plus v if it are if it is asked the lagrangian then we will say t minus c the next question is according to hamilton's least action principle the quantity that is minimized so the option a is right t minus v of integration of t minus v dt the next question is temperature is given and asking what is the maximum wavelength so we can use the wien's displacement law that lambda t is equal to constant and we can calculate that the lyman alpha line is emitted from the hydrogen atom when an electron undergoes relaxation from the principal quantum number 2 we know that when it jump in one then it turns out to be the lyman it is asking lyman alpha then it will be 2 to 1 the schrodinger wave equation is so the schrodinger wave equation is a linear differential equation so the option b is right next question is the maximum energy that in electron may pose is at equal to 0 kelvin so it is the fermi energy so option c is correct the crystal planes are described with the help of the option is a it is a miller indices next question the type of cubic crystals are the option is d simple body center and the face center the next question is in n type dot semiconductor the fermi level is so the in n type semiconductor fermi level lies just below the conduction band closer to the conduction band so a is right next question is the presence of magnetic monopole is ruled by so the option is b it is gauss law for magnetism next question is which law implies that the electric flux leaving its volume is proportional to the charge density inside so it is the gauss law for electrostatics so option a is right the continuous assumption of a fluid mechanics no longer holds mm, i don't know the answers of it if you know please comment so that others may also understand that the next question is the transition from streamline to turbulent motion of a liquid is described by so it is the reynold number next question is 8085 is a microprocessor then it is option b it is 8 bit microprocessor a zero level detector is zero level detector if we talk about then it is option d it is a comparator with the trip point reference to zero next question is how many of them are used in instrumentation amplifiers the option is a it is 3 next question is an, an emitter follower circuit works in so the emitter follower circuit is common collector so option c is right next question is asking how many molecules are likely to be present in a cubic centimeter of volume if pressure is given temperature is given so then we simply use the ideal gas equation pv is equal to nr and we can find out this next question is a satellite at an altitude of 36000 km above the earth surface loses its heat by mean of since we know that above the earth like 36000 km there is no medium so the only possibility of losing heat is by radiation if the total number of possible microstates of a given for a system of particle is 7 to 9 what is the entropy of the system so since we know that s is equal to kl and omega we can simply put that and next question is the particle that are indistinguishable and the bow ob both heisenberg uncertainty principle and pauli exclusive principle so we know that only fermions are the particle which obey pauli exclusive principle so the option a is right next question is young double slit experiment manifest 
So it is the wave nature of the light. So option B is right. Next question is a radioactive element has a half life of 25 hours. After what time will one eighth of the initial number of atoms disintegrate? So we can use the radioactive law n equal to n0 e to power minus lambda t. And there is asking about the atoms that have disintegrated. So we have to subtract. Like we we have to find out n0 minus n. The next question is if R be the range of alpha particle with energy E in few MeV Geiger's law. So it is option B that range proportional to it to be power 3 by 2. Next is an arrow measures 1 meter length. So it is the STR question given the length, rest length is given 1 meter and the velocity is given 80% of the C and you have to find out the length. So simple formula you can apply under root 1 minus V square by C square times L0. Similarly, it is asking for the uh, for the time dilation, but there is not given the proper time, so we cannot find out. Maybe it has misprinted, or maybe I don't understand that. But the, but if there is given the proper time, then we can find out tau is equal to tau zero upon under root one minus v square by c square. The next question is 64. A satellite revolves around a planet at 100 km circular polar orbit with a period of 126 minutes. So it is simple, Kepler's third law t square is proportional to a q. We can find out. Next question is 65. In general, the solution of Schrodinger wave equation is, so it is complex, c. 66, which is canonical conjugate pair. So it is a, space and momentum. Next is optical phenomena generated when the atom in a diatomic molecule. So it is vibrate in opposite direction without shifting the center of mass. So option A is right. The next is X band microwave represents the frequency of so option is D, 8 to 12 gigahertz. Next question is Yadi kisi padart ki pati rodhakta char ki gatak ta kam ho jati hai. So uspar aapti tik vidut chumba ke tangi. Okay, it is asking about the penetration depth. So we know that penetration depth is inversely proportional to the square root of conductivity and conductivity is one of resistivity so it is proportional to resistivity so we can find out in case of newtonian non-newtonian fluid so in case of the non-newtonian fluid what we will say is just wait i think it's often C, viscosity depends on the CR rate and CR rate. No, no, no. It's often D. Viscosity never depends on the CR rate history but depends on the CR rate. The next question is 71. Given that how much work is done to break up a drop of water of radius 1 millimeter into 10 to the power 26 numbers of droplet of identical size. So we can find out the work done. If there is a formula. 4 pi r square times surface tension times n key power 1 by 3 minus 1. Here n is the number of atoms that is 10 to the power 20, 10 to the power 6. Next question is which material has the maximum VM modulus? So I think it may be option D, it's iron. Asking the 73, the four wire technique is employed. So it is option B to measure the low resistance. Next question is a typical ionization gauge is used to measure total pressure in the range of. So I don't know the answer of this question. The next and the next are the mathematics simple question. The derivative of cortex is minus cos x square x. Asking the determinant. Next one is asking the quadratic roots and there is given limit it's a simple questions you can check thank you